This video is about how to make Prusa enclosure even better. The thing is that it's a really nice printer this MK4 but after printing you just can't avoid VOCs. And that is why today we are rooting it out of the printer all the way outside of your house. We will be printing some of the pieces to help us sort this out and I will explain about this in a little bit more detail later. But keep in mind that all the links to the files will be provided in the video description. What you see on the tabletop here is pretty much what you are going to need for the entire project. Part A is an adapter for diameter 100mm duct. It also has a cap later on if you decide to remove the system. And a part C, which is duct exit connector. I use this fine plastic mesh to help prevent uh, bugs from coming into my system. Well, let's see if that's gonna work. Then we need duct itself and I had this nice black one already. It's uh, 100 millimeters in diameter and expands. I also already had these two quiet fans and they have speed control. Two stainless steel clamps for each end. And some skirt board which I just cut and added a bit of a sticker to prevent uh, cold air from coming in. Some basic tools, screwdriver, cutters, you know, some tape and uh, bolts and wire. I suggest you have the opening lid add-on already installed because otherwise it's going to be a bit complicated but what we do is we remove the existing ventilation cover and then we can start transferring our connected fans through that opening just make sure that the way the fans are set so that they are pulling the air out of the enclosure not pushing the air inside of it and in the other end we attached part A and just tie them up together. It's a bit of a tedious work, it takes time, it's not that fast as you would expect, but you know, you'll get there. This is how it looks like once the setup is complete. I'm gonna have these connected um, controllers on the left of my enclosure for when I need them. So let's compare sound levels, Prusa first. And now, both fans full speed. And now, push a fan on again. Then just attach a duct to the back of the part A. Suction is there. And to attach it, I just used wire. Better to use some soft wire. I know it's not a permanent solution, but it's probably going to stay there for a while until I come up with something better later. And yeah, the hard part is already done. I think the rest is just a few last uh, touches. I then attached part C, which is duct exit connector, and this is how it looks like. And then I just did my best to insulate it as well as I could. You know, it's not perfect, but it'll do. And yeah, I think this is the right way to, you know, use FDM printers. You don't want to inhale that BOCs because it's just not good for you. It's uh, take your health seriously. So coupled up together with a direct feed from the dryer, which you can also download files from the links in the description. I think this pretty much sums up my build so far, so yeah. Thanks for watching and if you like, please subscribe and leave your comments if you have any.